Yo, what's good, y'all? So, Trail, and today I'm recording my Galaxy Fold again, but you can see right here that I got my Galaxy Book S in. I finally slapped a Jennings stamp of approval sticker on here because this thing gets my Jennings stamp of approval most definitely. But we're gonna be going ahead and checking out the Smart Things app for Windows. So, I don't know how long I've been waiting for this, but we finally got a Smart Things app on Windows. I've been wanting this for like a good minute now. So, if you use Samsung Smart Things like I do, it's finally out on Windows, so you can finally use it on your PC, but there's a catch on it i'll get to that in a minute but let's go and roll the intro let's get into it all right so yeah like i was saying you can finally go ahead and get smart things for windows so if i go and look up on the microsoft store i'll look up smart things you'll see right here it should pop up in the search results and there we go right there so it's the official samsung smart things app right here you can see by Samsung Electronics Co. LTD. But here's the catch. So, I don't know if you recognize this already, but if you go over here to the system requirements, you need to have an ARM-based PC. So, something like the Galaxy Book S right here, you need something like this to use smart things. So, if you have something like, let me grab this over here, my Galaxy Book Flex, you can't use smart things on here. That's really wet. And if I go over here to the Microsoft store again, I'll go ahead and log in real quick and go over to the reviews. You can see I complained about that. Apparently 23 out of 26 people found that review helpful, so cool. So yeah, that's really whack that you need to have an ARM-based PC in order to use the SmartThings app on Windows. And I'm pretty sure it has to be a Galaxy Book at that. So I'm pretty sure it's a Galaxy Book exclusive. I don't think you can use that on like a Surface Pro X or something like that. And I'm pretty sure the Galaxy Book S is Samsung's first ARM-based PC. So like pretty much, you just need to have a Galaxy Book S in order to use the SmartThings app. I know, it's so stupid. Maybe SmartThings has a limitation right now where you need to have an ARM architecture in your device. So that's why it's limited to the Galaxy Book S right now and Android and iOS and all that. Definitely could be a thing, but it sucks I can't use that on my Galaxy Book Flex or my Notebook 9 Pro or like something else like that. Now, if you have a Surface Pro X, look up SmartThings in the Windows Store or I mean the Microsoft Store and let me know if you can download it or not. Now, let's go and check out this smart things app here so i'll be going ahead and comparing it to the one on one ui here or android that they have right here and we'll go ahead and do a side by side and see how both of those work all right so basically when you pull up the smart things app for windows it brings you to this setup screen here so at the top you can see a whole bunch of different devices that we can control here like a robot vacuum a samsung smart fridge a garage you know a, a oven a cooktop or whatever thermostat tv headphones outlet dryers all that stuff there so that's cool and all we can control smart devices a smarter way monitor and control your devices and appliances using your computer I don't know why computer is capitalized, but okay then. Turn on the lights, unify control with the recipe you defined, and watch the security camera. Sign into your Samsung account to get the most out of smart things. Okay, cool. So basically from here, you just go to sign in, obviously, and then it brings you to the Samsung account screen, so you just go and log in from here. And once you got all your info in, I'm gonna just go and hit on remember my ID, but you don't gotta do that. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in here. And then it should bring you to the screen here where you got to go ahead. Well, if you have two step verification on anyways, where it'll send you a text message to your number like I just got. So I'm going to go and enter that code right now. I'm going to skip the two step verification on this phone next time, even though this ain't a phone, obviously. I'm going to go and hit on verify. And then there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions and stuff like that. Hit OK. And then we're into smart things. So it's going to sync all my devices real quick. And there you go. So you can see, well, most of my devices right here. And I'm going to go in and miss some real quick. So the beginning part of this video was actually recorded like a month or two ago and actually forgot that I recorded the video and I never posted it on YouTube. I don't really know why, but I wanted to go ahead and re-record this part right here because, well, a lot's changed in the last month or two in terms of my whole smart home. So you'll see that in a minute. I'm actually glad that I record this now instead of before. I mean, even literally right now, I have somebody on their way right now with a pickup order that I ordered from Best Buy and it's actually a smart switch from tp link and i also ordered a smart water sensor so a water leak sensor from smart things all right so yeah anyways as you can see here this is my smart home you can see like i said most of my devices not everything here so you can see in my basement i have my philips Hue hub i have my samsung 6 series 58 inch tv on the fire tv stick input all of my smart lights and everything i can see my robot vacuum doorway light and i can also see some things here like my motion sensors um more lights yeah it's it's full in here 
but yeah, like I was saying, like not everything shows up in here. Like I also have a smart garage door opener by Next, and that doesn't show up in here. Now maybe if I got some other type of smart garage door opener, then it will show up in here. But right now, I don't see nothing. And then you can see here, I can go ahead and turn on the lights, turn off the lights, whatever I want to do. So yeah, as you can see here, I can control the devices that I see here on the screen, but. That's pretty much where it ends because if I go ahead and click on the button here or click on the icon or whatever I want to do, I can't manage those actions there for that device. So if I wanted to go ahead and recharge my robot vacuum and set a schedule or whatever I want to do for it, I can't do that on here, which is really annoying. And even going over here to something like my Galaxy tab, you can see here that we have way more functionality on the SmartThings app for my Galaxy tab on Android. It's the same exact functionality that you'll find on the Galaxy phone or maybe even an iPad or an iPhone. Like, look, I can even scroll down here and I can see some here like my garage. So that's not on here, but it is on here. I can make lighting groups on here and it will show up on here, but it won't show up on there. You can even see like if I go over here to the motion center, is this the motion sensor icon and you can see it on here it's outdated on here we got the old motion sensor icon if i want to go and manage my porch light here and change the color and all that if i want to i can do that but on the windows app here if i go over here to my porch you can see here if i scroll up which it's not doing right now it's really weird okay so as you can see a little bit buggy there i think it just froze there or something but yeah as you can see i'm clicking on it here and it's not doing anything clicking on it whatever it's not working you could tap on it or you could do whatever you want to it's not going to do nothing the only thing it'll do is just turn it on and off and like I said, you can see the status here, like if this is blue here, that means the light's on, or I can go to my robot vacuum and see that it's charging, or even like my TV, and see that's on the Fire TV stick right now, but that's pretty much it. If you have lighting groups, you won't have that on here. You need to go ahead and make some scenes here so you can actually go ahead and control multiple devices. And yeah, so that's pretty much the smart things that for Windows. Now, let me go ahead and go upstairs and I'll go and show y'all some of this stuff working. All right, y'all, so I'm actually still in my basement, as you can see right here if I just turn around, but I feel I figured I'd go ahead and show y'all down here first because I have a smart things motion sensor and I also have two smart things bulbs down here. So we'll go ahead and walk in here right now and you will see that these down here where it says laundry room will go ahead and change. So you can see motion detected and both of these lights just turned on and it's showing the app. So leaving that right there and walking over here, you can see right here, this is a smart things motion sensor. And then if I look at this light bulb, that is a smart things bulb pretty sure you can see the logo right there and then the same exact thing over there now if i want to go and control these here i can go and turn that off and turn that off and as you can see it worked just fine and obviously it's still showing that's motion detected in here so i'm gonna go and walk out of here and yeah so now i've been out of there long enough and as you can see it just changed to no motion now let's go upstairs all right so now i'm in my kitchen here and as you can see the motion sensor triggered it here because i have a motion sensor just sitting right there for now because i don't really know what to do with it just yet not until i get a smart outlet and then i also get a wi-fi extender so i can go in my garage and then turn on my garage lights when i walk in there so yeah as you can see here the ceiling light in the kitchen is on because of that motion sensor and it's also a philips hue bulb now let's go over here to my living room so now i'm in my living room as you can see here i go ahead and turn on the doorway light and it works just like that turn it back off go and turn on the table light which is right over here and that just turned on and this is my samsung powered by turbo robot vacuum and i'm about to go and control it here with the smart things app on windows so you can see right here is charging which it's obviously doing right now so now i'm gonna go and click on the play button and watch this so let's go ahead and do that now and there we go so now it's actually going and the light turned on because i have an iftt triggered so when the robot vacuum starts, the lights turn on so I can see in here. So you can see right there that it actually says cleaning and I can go and pause it if I want to. So let's go and do that. And you can see right there, the pause symbol. So it is paused right now. And if I just go and tap on this play button right here, you'll see that the status will change as you can see there. Now the problem is, like I said, I can't recharge this thing from the smart things app on Windows, but I can on Android and I don't like that. So let's go and do that right now and there we go so it's going to go back here to the charger it's going to turn off my lights and if i go over here to the smart things app it says returning for charging so just how it's supposed to be we're going to wait until this thing goes back to the charger and i hate when it gets stuck here on this shag rug i really do but all right so returning for charging and there we go it should be docking here in a minute looks like it's trying to figure itself out right now and 
There we go. So now it's back in the charger and it should change here in a minute. So now as you can see there, it's charging. And now one last thing. So this is my Samsung 6 Series 58 inch TV. So now let's go ahead and turn that thing off. So here we go, pressing the power button right now and it just turned off like that and it turned off really quickly and now as you can see right there it's offline and that's normal so i'm not really surprised about that so guys that's pretty much it for the smart things app on windows on my galaxy book s so let me know in the comments below what do you think about this app i really hope they improve it soon i really want to see some more functionality out of this thing because i think it could be really great but right now it's really limited all i can do is just turn on and off the things that's in my house so we'll see what it looks like with that water leak sensor and also that smart switch maybe if that comes in time and i get that installed in time for the video probably not at this point but if i don't i'll probably just go ahead and pin a comment down below with a picture of what it looks like in here so that's gonna be pretty much it for me y'all so thanks for watching if you like this video go and give this video a like and if you really liked it go and subscribe but go and follow me on my social media at eastantic on instagram and twitter and facebook but instagram and twitter is where i'm most active but yeah so stay tuned for my smart home video because this is gonna be fun so i'm gonna go and get out of here y'all Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one and uh, peace out.